गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग मैम नमस्ते So I Good think evening. you all can turn on your video. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Ronit, Ranava, turn on your video. <clears throat> So let us wait for one or two minutes more and then I'll be starting. What was the homework given last time, Ronit? What was the homework given last time? Ma'am, to draw the bacteria. Have you done that homework, all of you? And have you submitted it? Yes, ma'am. Where you have submitted? Ma'am, I could not submit. Because I did not receive the homework from any one of you. Okay, Charan Tej, I can see that uh, he has done it. Good. Ronit, Gagna and Pranava, what about you? What about your homework? I finished, ma'am. I forgot to send to you. Have you shared with me? Because I did not receive it. Oh, okay, ma'am. Can I send now? Yeah, you can. Okay, Gagna, okay, fine. Okay, now shall we start with the next topic? Yes, children, answer. Shall we start with the next topic now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so last time we have discussed about the bacteria, what they are, what are the different shapes of the bacteria, caucus, rod shape, uh, then question mark, spiral shape, spirillium. So all those different shapes we have discussed and the examples of some of the bacteria we have discussed. Now today we'll be starting with the next type of the microorganism, which is the algae. Have you all seen the algae? Yeah. Where you have seen it? Ma'am, near I'm pond. On pond. Very good, very good. So, uh, in the pond water, you might have seen the green plus structure present there, which are I called as the me. algae. I have? I have seen them. Yeah, I have received it. I have received it. Thank you. So, uh, so those uh, algae, are they autotrophic or are they heterotrophic in nature? 
मैम ऑटोट्रॉफिक वेरी गुड ऑटोट्रॉफिक सो इफ दे आर ऑटोट्रॉफिक कैन दे प्रिपेयर देयर फूड और नॉट yes they can prepare their food so since they have the chlorophyll they can prepare their own food and they can do the photosynthesis process as well fine so this is a uh, you should keep on writing along with me okay children you should not wait for me to uh, give you the time to write so you are grown up now you at the same time completed then okay so Starting with the second type of the microorganisms, that is what the algae is. So the first category of the first characteristic of the algae, they are green plants. So who they are? They are the green plants, which are simple in structure. Which are simple in structure. So when you see them, you will not be able to find so many parts inside them or so many organs and all. So they don't have all those things, right? So that is why we can say them. They have the very simple structure. The second thing is a cell of algae. Good evening, ma'am. Contain. Yeah, good evening. Cell of algae. Algae contains cell wall. So what do they have? Cell wall, and also they have the chloroplast. So, what is cell wall? Ma'am, which protect them? Chloroplast. Very good. Very good. Cell wall is basically a kind of wall which protects them from the external kind of conditions or external barrier. Whereas the chloroplast, they are the type of the cells which have the chlorophyll in them. So, these algae they will have the cell wall as well as well as they have will have the chloroplast. And they are microscopic in nature. So it means, with the help of the microscope only, we can see them clearly. Some of the examples are clay, mydomonas. Fine. C H L A clay, my M Y M Y my do D O do mo M O mo nas N A S. So like this, you need to learn the spelling. Cla C H L A M Y M I D O P O M O then N A S. The second one is the Spirogyra. So S P I S P I R O R O G Y G Y G Y R A R A. So Spirogyra. So these are what they are the few examples of the algae. Fine. If we talk about the structure or the diagram of the uh, both, then the Algae are basically like this. So, oh, they will be somewhat. Mm -hmm. They will be somewhat like this. They will have the structure like this, and inside them they will have chloroplast, the nucleus, and the other component present in them. Whereas the clamidomonas. Will be like this. So somewhat like this, the clamidomonas will be. Find this actually this part of the clamidomonas is known as the flagella. What it is known as? It is known as the flagella, and this flagella will be helping them in the movement. So what they will be doing? They will be helping in. Movement, so they will be moving with the help of this flagella. Clear, children? Yes. Yes, Ron is Lasya, Ragna, Shunava. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you repeat the explanation yes, of flagella? Okay. So this clamidomonas, they have a two wing-like structure. You can see, or two uh, antennas-like structure. These are called as flagella. So what happens when they want to move? They will be using this flagella part, and then they move. Fine. Okay. So like we have the legs, right? We have the legs for the movement. Same way, they have the flagella. With the help of that, they will be doing the movement. Ma'am, this is present in the algae. They are present in the clamidomonas. So this is the clamidomonas picture. Okay. Algae is basically they have the water, right? Inside the water they are present. So automatically, without any kind of the support, they will be moving along with the water. They do not need any kind of 
a separate part or the organ or the hair they do not need anything because they are present where they are present in the water so automatically the water keeps on moving from a place to the other place okay now the next one uh, is the protozoa the third category of the microbes are the protozoa and one more thing okay one more thing i have missed here the study of algae the study of algae is called as phycology p h y c o l o g y study of algae is known as phycology <coughs> very very important children no way it is given uh, in your books so you should know it study of algae it is called as phycology then protozoa coming to the next one protozoa protozoa do not have cell wall what they do not have they do not have cell wall and chloroplast okay they do not have cell wall and chloro plast but they have the nucleus they do not have the cell wall and chloroplast but they have the nucleus now if they do not have the cell wall and chloroplast so are they plant or are they animal if they do not have cell wall then are they plant or are they animals ma'am animal all right so they are basically the animals like the algae algae they had the cell wall they had the chloroplast so they were the plant but in the case of the protozoa they neither have the cell wall they neither have the chloroplast that is why they are the animal so they comes under the animal organ as fine then they are unicellular what do you mean by unicellular what do you mean by unicellular which have one cell yeah those organism who are made up of only one cell so uni means one cellular means cell so their body is made up of only one cell so the whole protozoa whole body of the protozoa is made up of only one cell but when we talk about our body in our body how many cells we have one or more than one More than one, more than one, ma'am. More than trillions, actually, more than trillions of cells we have in our body. But this protozoa have only one cell, and they are also microscopic in nature. So we need the microscope to see them. Fine. Then they are heterotrophic. What do you mean by heterotrophic? Depends on other organisms for food and shelter and nutrients. Very good. So they depends on the other animals or other organisms for their nourishment. Then they are also aquatic in nature. What do you mean by aquatic? I wish live in water. Correct. So they live in water. So mostly they are aquatic. And talking about the examples. the amoeba paramecium these are the example of protozoa so amoeba will be somewhere like this fine and then paramecium will be like this fine this is the structure of amoeba we have learned about amoeba in 7th class right nutritional amoeba you might have learned right yes sir it will be in the damp sea waters correct correct so and do they have any fixed shape or they keep on changing the shape they keep on changing the shape they don't have any children very good false and, feet and for grabbing food ma'am false feet very good so they have the pseudopodia these are called as pseudopodia pseudo means Ooh. false and podia means feet ma'am very good so they have the false feet so pseudo means false and podia means feet so they look like the feet but actually they are not the feet fine so in the amoeba they have the pseudopodia with the help of which 
they will be moving whereas in the paramecium what do they have where where is uh, this paramecium what do they have they have this hair like structure and these hair like structures are called as what they called as cilia fine amoeba they have the you know, amoeba they have the pseudopodia for the movement whereas the paramecium they have the cilia everywhere around their body and with the help of this they will be able to move so clamidomonas they had the flagella with the help of which they were able to move then amoeba they had the pseudopodia for the movement whereas the paramecium they have the cilia for the movement am i clear children with this yes 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 ma'am now moving to the next category uh, okay one more thing is remaining there the study so study of protozoa is called as study of protozoa is called as protozoology it is called as protozoology fine right? now going to the next one next type of microbe it is the fungus now fungus they are basically uh, they have the cell wall but they do not have chloroplast so oh, they Not have the cell fungi. wall yeah but fungi is plural and fungus is singular right ma'am yeah correct so fungi. they will have the cell wall yeah yeah fungi is the plural but the fungus is the singular right ma'am yes it is correct fungus when we talk about the fungus it means one fungi means so many yes the cell wall uh, they have the cell wall but they do not have the chloroplast and they are saprotrophs who are saprotrophs i'm dead dead decay matter very good very very good so they feed on dead and decaying matter dead and decaying remains of plants and animals so whatever the dead and decaying matter will be there they will be feeding on them and almost all are microscopic in nature so almost all fungus are microscopic but mushroom have you seen a mushroom yes ma'am yes ma'am mushroom is also a type of fungus which is visible to us right with our normal eyes we can see them with our naked eyes we can see the mushroom so almost all the fungus will be microscopic but mushroom are visible to us with the help of the naked eyes and the examples of it are yeast rhizopus then penicillium So these are the or aspergillus also we have aspergillus. These are the few examples of fungus. I mean, and the I mean, fungi even uh, the bread which is kept for longer time uh, can cause fungus. That is, too. yeah, that is all. That is called as rhizopus. Right? Okay. The bread mold. It is called as bread mold, and the other name of the bread mold is rhizopus. So this is what we get actually from the rotten bread. the study of fungi is called as mycology it is called as mycology fine m y c o l o g y it is called as mycology clear children yes ma'am okay so that's about the fungus <coughs> so a uh, study see a uh, bacteria study is called as 
bacteriology it is called as bacteriology it is easy to learn right only a you need to remove and then o you need to write bacteriology then uh, algae algae study is called as phycology so it is a complete different name then fungus study is called as myco no 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 mycology fungus study is called as mycology and then protozoa it is called as protozoology now see this easily you can learn bacteria protozoa you can learn and the virus also you can learn easily it is called as virology now only problem comes is only confusion comes between this between this algae and fungus so i will tell you a short way to learn it and to understand it so in the algae what is the first letter a a in the phycology what is the first letter p p when we talk about ap which state do we talk about andhra pradesh andhra pradesh right andhra pradesh so like this you can andhra. learn a is for the algae p is for the phycology so shortcut andhra pradesh so confusion will not be there for you all fine algae phycology a stands for algae p stands for phycology and when we join together or when we learn as a shortcut it becomes andhra pradesh to us the second one fungus the first letter is what f in the mycology the first letter is m so what is fm fm radio right radio so like this you can learn fm f stands for fungus and m stands for the mycology a p andhra pradesh a for the algae and p is for the phycology f for the fungus and m for the mycology which is fm radio so if you learn like this then you will not be able to forget it in the whole life clear children yes sir now i'm going to play a video related to this chapter just listen to the video and then further will be discussing is it audible to you yes ma'am yes. okay oh. Sanya a 13 year old curious city girl studying in class 8 mummy sanya's mother who facilitates them in understanding different concepts kabir sanya's 14 year old brother who helps her contemplate things and perform various activities Hi friends my name is Sanya and this is my elder brother Kabir both of us love curry chawal Yes Sanya i was thinking why don't we both cook curry chawal today Oh yes it would be great fun but bhaiya i just know how to make chawal i don't know how to cook curry Don't worry Sanya I had seen a curry recipe on TV. We can refer to it and make curry. We'll give mummy a surprise and ask her to taste it for us. Yes, good idea. Whenever we make something, mummy feels so happy. Yeah, let's start then. Bhaiya, we would first need to set curd for making curry. Do you know how to do that, Sanya? Oh yes. That's not difficult. You just need to boil the milk first and then let it cool. Once the milk is cooled, put a teaspoon of curd, also called curd starter, in the cooled milk and let it rest. The curd will So, have you seen your mother preparing the curd? So that is the fer yes, fermentation of fermentation of curd, ma'am. 
Correct. So, uh, what do what they will be doing? How they'll be making the curd? Um, they uh, first they will boil the milk. If we boil the yeah. milk, the microorganisms which are present in the milk will uh, be killed by the uh, heat. Heat. Hmm. What is the name of the microbes? Actually, they will not get killed. Ah, they will be multiplying um, there. In the milk, there will yeah. be lactic acid, mom. Yeah, lactic um, acid. Bacteria True, is but... lactobacillus. Very, very good. The bacteria name is the lactobacillus. We have uh, we have studied bacillus means rod shaped bacteria. No? Correct, correct. So lactobacillus basically they are the rod shaped bacteria. So once they add a small amount of the curd into the lukewarm milk, what happens? Those will be converted. Those slowly and gradually will be multiplying, and then they will be converting the milk slowly and gradually into the curd. That is why you might have seen like after four to five hours, the whole milk will be converted into the curd. It is because the lactobacillus will keep on multiplying at a very very faster rate. Said, oh great, but you know I have heard that curd takes different amount of time to set depending on the weather. Like for example, it sets faster in the summers and takes a little longer during the winters. That's right. That's because in summers the temperatures are high, and in winters the temperatures are lower. Correct, but this is not the only reason for quicker setting of curd. There are other reasons as well. Is it? What other reasons can be there? Well, we haven't discussed about the most important factors, which are the microorganisms. Microorganisms. So this other uh, picture is what kind of what type of bacteria can you see in the picture? Um, bacilli. Bacilli. What yeah, bacilli. They play. In... They are what? They are the bacilli pictures. What you can see on the screen, right? They will be there in that curd, and they will start multiplying. Process. In high temperatures, microorganisms are more active. Because of this, curd sets faster during the summers. Oh yes. And you must have noticed that the longer the curd is kept, it so, gets even so sweeter. So we kept, we keep, we keep them for the more <laughs> number of time or the more number Now of hours. Then what Sanya, happens? How do you like uh, your curry? It will be Less getting converted into sour? sour in nature. I like my curry more sour. So for making then the curry, what do they do? They will be keeping for a longer time so that it becomes sour. But if normally they want to use, they will be just uh, using it then and there. Need to keep our curd undisturbed for longer. Exactly. Let us get started then. Yes, let's get started. Oh wow, Bhaiya, the curry has turned out so well. Absolutely yummy. This is really awesome. Just, just one minute. One. So that is how their curd formation Most will be there, and that is how we can make the different curries out of it. Sanya notices the slice of bread closely and observes the hole on its surface. Mummy, I often wonder why bread slices have these holes. So why do Sanya, the bread they have the holes like this? Not because carbon dioxide get escaped from the bread. Very good. So, uh, what is the name of the microbe? They will be doing this process in them. Um, yeast. Fungi. Yeast. Fungi. Yeast. Very. Yeast. Fung yeast. Fungi. Yeast. Yeah. Fungi called as the yeast. So, what happened? The yeast. We will be using the yeast to make the bread. So, when we make the bread out of it, the yeast will be continuously releasing the carbon dioxide gas, and because of that, these holes will be created on the surface of bread. Carbon dioxide gas bubbles. that are released by microorganisms such as bacteria and yeast bacteria yeast yes 
Yeast is added while making bread dough and it produces carbon dioxide which gets trapped inside the dough so in the form like of bubbles. Like this you can see the dough also. When the dough which will be created, which will be made by us, it will also have few of the holes. It is because of the carbon dioxide released by the yeast. This dough is baked, the gas escapes. Even by? Mom, even uh, when we uh, keep out um, the dosa degree batter, how can it um, get doubled, man? Correct, correct. It is because of the releasing of the carbon dioxide. That is why the dosa batter also get double. Or the idli batters also. Okay. Bubbles behind in the form of these holes that you use. Kids? Do you know, yeast is commonly available product and is available online at bakery so stores also and you sometimes might have seen. at chemists too. These kind of it is and all also in both dry and hydrated and needs to be mixed with sugar and warm water to be activated for fermentation. You know, mummy, my friend had got idlis to school yesterday. Her idlis was so soft and fluffy. She mentioned that idlis are also made in similar manner. Yes, yes, exactly. So, idlis are also made by the same way, right? So, uh, the mothers, they will be making the batter in the batter. Either they will be adding the yeast or they will be adding the eno. So, those or maybe the soda powder also. So, those those will be acting as like the kind of fermentation for them and they will start releasing the carbon dioxide gas and the volume of that dough or the batter will keep on rising. Idlis become fluffy because of the process of fermentation. Mummy. Will you help me making some idlis today? I want to see how this works. Friends, would you also want to observe this? Take help from your parents and try making some instant idlis at home. You can use the idli mix available in the market for this. Research about the various ways to make idlis and create a report on the method of making idlis that you like the most. Earlier today, Sanya and Kabir had gone out with mummy and had lunch at a restaurant. Along with food, they were served with pickled onions, which they found to be really tasty. So, can we keep this onion for a longer time? No? no? Um. What is the name of the liquid which is present inside this onion, like in the bottle, in the jar? Salt water? No, no, no. Mom, vinegar? No. Very good vinegar. So, what happens in normal onions, we cannot keep it them. Right? But when we add the vinegar into that onions and when we keep them into the jar, we can increase the shell life of the onions. Okay? So, instead of one day, we can keep this kind of onions for the 10 days or 15 days also. No problem. So, when you go to the hotels, what they are doing? They are doing the same thing. They are keeping those onions they are um, peeling it and they are keeping those onions in the vinegar. And because of which it does not get spoiled. Fine children? Yes. Bhaiya, why don't we make pickled onions at home? Oh, definitely. I was thinking about this. See. I have already searched for the method of making pickled onions in the recipe book. Oh wow! Let's get started then. Alright, so we'd need some shallots or small sized onions, some beetroot and some chilies. And most important of all, we would need some vinegar. Right. So with the help what of the vinegar, the pickles will be created by them and they will be keeping it for long. So vinegar acts as like a preservative for them to store it for the longer time. Clear children? Yes. I can see only Charan and Pranava and last year's videos are <clears throat> on. Others also should turn on it, right? Ma'am? I think you all are all are feeling hungry, right? Watching idlis, dosas. Yes? No? no Ritin, are you feeling hungry? Oh no, always is not feeling hungry. What do you had think... in the lunch, always? Yeah. What do you had in your lunch? Yeah. 
Okay, so uh, we are done with four types of the microbes, which are the bacteria, fungus, algae, and protozoa. Now only we are remaining is with the virus. And what is the other name of the virus? What do we call them? As a kind of link, something link. What link? Starting with the letter B. Bacterium. No, last year. The second word is O. B O. The third letter is, is R. B O R. Border link. Very good, Varshit. Border. It is called as a border link between the living and non-living, right? So when they are inside, they become living, and when they are outside, they become non-living. That is what they are the. Border line or border link between the living and non-living organisms. Right? So I'll share the notes now. Start writing if not written, and do it little fast, children, because I think almost uh, two to three pages we are done with. Any doubt? I think Pranava, you are asking something. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, tell me. Um, actually, if we if we boil water, the uh, it will kill the bacteria, no ma'am. Correct. Then, uh, uh, then if we boil milk, uh, why the microorganisms will be not killed? No, no. Actually, uh, see, your question is very good, Pranava. What happens? Uh, when we talk about the microbes, they are not only harmful one; they are the useful one also, right? Uh, like doctors, if you have the cold or the fever. Fine, you are going to the doctor and you are telling that I have this kind of symptom. I am feeling so hot, or maybe I am feeling so cold. So, what does the doctor? They will be doing. They will be giving you the medicine only for that particular kind of thing, right? So, maybe for a fever, maybe for the cold, and you are taking it from the mouth only, right? Any disease, be it any diseases, every kind of medicines, how you are taking it to the mouth, correct? Same way, when you try to boil the milk, any kind of harmful microbes are there. They will get Burn easily; they will get killed easily. But lactobacillus, they are meant only for them. They are only meant for the milk. That is the reason they do not get killed. Up. All right. So I'll share the screen, and you can start writing. So start writing, children. This is the first page. So start from the algae. Once it is done, let me know. Ma'am. Yeah. Um, what is the study of virus called? Virology. V i r o. L O G Y virology. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Yeah. In the examples, uh, uh, there's a name I am not understanding. It is called as Clamidomonas. C H L A. Cla. My M Y D O D O D O M O M O N A S. N A S. So Clamidomonas and Spirogyra they are the type of the algae. Okay, ma'am. So this file I will be uploading under the Wise app. So make sure that you complete your notes also, and then do send your note. Do send your notes for the correction part also. Can you go to the next slide, ma'am? Yeah, I can. I will go that next slide. And if you are not able to complete, no worries, children. I will be uploading under the resources, so you can go through it and then complete it. Ma'am, how to preserve lemons for more days? How to preserve lemons for more days? Lemon also you can throw in the vinegar. You can cut the lemons. You can throw in the vinegar, or if you are making the pickle, you can store it in the oil. The number of the uh, days will increase for it. Ma'am. Uh, okay, ma'am. Ma'am. Yeah. Ma'am, this notes after writing today we need to post ma'am in the app. So you have a number. Yes, 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 yes. 
so whatever the notes we have done i will be immediately after the class i will be uploading you can write it down and send the uh, your notes to me for the correction part of it and children whatever the homework is given make sure that you complete it and share the answer sheets with me personally not there in any of the group personally you have to share with me and i think you all have my number right ma'am other than spyro gear uh, can you show the other picture along with it okay i'll i'll show the picture also so this is the other picture of the clamido monas ma'am should we send the homework of the last week also yes yes definitely children okay ma'am any doubt any one of you have pranava charan tej last year gagana namatu ronit ove yeah. any doubt you um, have yeah. yeah can you yeah. say again what is flagella flagella is basically a part present in the chlamydomonas which help them for movement like we have the legs right so with the help of legs we will be moving same way they have the flagella with those help of those flagella they will be moving like this okay ma'am ma'am wait when did yes. you start this lesson microorganism because this is my second class mm -hmm. i think this is mine also second or third class in the first class we did not do anything we just discussed actually ma'am we discussed okay, about the microscope ma'am yeah correct class yeah so in the first class we discussed only about the microscope which was a general topic and we did not do anything and last class i think you were present in my class yes ma'am okay okay children so i'll share the note right ma'am Ma'am, your video is blocked. No, sir. No. 